Hello friends, in this video, let us understand about current system. So, any power system, different power equipments with different voltage and power levels are connected together with the help of step up or step down transformers. However, these different power levels and voltage levels causes problem in finding current at different points in the network. So, to elevate this situation or to provide remedy to this problem, what we are doing is we are converting the system quantities into a uniform normalized platform. So, this conversion of system quantities to a uniform normalized platform is known as your current system. So, the value generally ranges from 0 to 1 and it has it do not have any units like volts, amperes or ohms and generally they are expressed in P dot U that is per unit. So, whenever you look at any machine, the two base quantities are provided in the nameplate. So, they are power base and voltage base power base and voltage base. So, by knowing these two base quantities, you can automatically know the other two base quantities, they are current base and the impedance base. But I know a power unit is the ratio of actual quantity to the base quantity. So, if I write my V power unit, V power unit can be given by V actual by V base, V actual by V base, the units are volt and volt. Now, as they have same units on the numerator and denominator, the units get cancelled and hence your permanent quantities are said as unitless quantities and uh, they are also said as fractional unitless quantities. So, I, have, I can write my I power unit is equal to I actual by I base, but I know my I base can be given by S base upon V base. Suppose if you are going for 3 phase, then you can write here under root of 3. Then I Z per unit, Z so Z per unit can be given by Z actual by Z base. But I know my Z base can be written as ratio of V base and I base. So, Z A into I base upon V base. But I know from here my I base is equal to S base upon V base. Plugging this I base here, I can have my Z power unit is equal to Z actual or Z actual into S base upon V base square. Many a times when more transformers are involved in a circuit, one is required to form a common base for all of them. The parameters of those machines are required to express on that common base. So, this causes a common problem encountered in the parallel operation of two or more transformers. The conversion of base values will naturally lead to the change in the value of their parameters. Suppose if I say my Z per unit volt old will be given on S base old and V base old and this gets modified to a Z per unit new on Z S base new and V base new. So, while the conversion of the parameters to the common base, this Z, Z per unit old gets modified to Z per unit new at S base new and V base new. So, from here you know your Z per unit is equal to Z actual into S base upon V base square. Suppose if I take my this is this as old Z per unit old, this is S base old and this is V base square old and I can write my Z per unit new is equal to Z actual into S base new upon V base square new. So, by dividing these two formulas, I can have my Z per unit in terms of Z per unit old, that is Z per unit new in terms of Z per unit old can be given by Z per unit old into S base new, that is power base new upon V square base new into V B square, that is V base square old upon S base old. So, this gives me my new Z per unit value. So, the advantage of this per unit system is 
the electrical quantities is the voltage current or impedance when referred from one side to other side there is no change in the values of those parameters so that means uh, the z power unit referred to primary side or z power unit referred to secondary side both are equal so this is a great advantage of power unit system and there are many advantages of this power unit system you can have the values of the parameters or electrical quantities in within a narrow range compared to their actual values so let us prove how z power unit will be equal uh, when referred to both sides of the transformer so i know that my z power unit that is as seen by the secondary i am giving z power unit as seen by secondary is equal to z ohm into z uh, that is s uh, s uh, that is power or you can say power uh, seen from the secondary upon voltage when referred to secondary that is v square when referred to the secondary and this is either you can write it as nu or o and uh, z power unit when referred to the secondary this is z o when referred to the secondary and uh, power when referred to the secondary and voltage when referred to the secondary so i know uh, if i take my a as the turns ratio a as the turns ratio that is the primary winding upon seven secondary winding turns so i can write my z when referred to the secondary can be given by 1 by a square into z o and uh, i know my v referred to secondary can be given by 1 by a into v where v is the voltage referred to the primary and z ohm is the impedance referred to the primary so if i plug these two equations in this equation then i can have my z per unit when referred to secondary or as seen by secondary is equal to 1 by a square into z ohm into your s that is the power will be same on both sides it will remain unaltered when referred on primary or secondary side of the transformer so z per unit uh, z per unit when referred to the secondary is equal to 1 by a square z ohm into this will be same so and here i am having 1 by a square into v square so this will get cancelled and i am having z ohm into s upon so v square this can be your z power unit so from here i can i can prove or i can say my z power unit when referred to secondary is equal to z primary uh, z power unit when referred to the primary also that means both side of the impedance i am having the same value so this is a great advantage of your current system now in our next video we shall take an example and uh, solve for the power unit values of the reactances so i hope you understood well please subscribe to the channel thank you